Speaker. Um, yesterday, in an attempt to boost morale in the tea room, the Prime Minister said uh, at a table, but there were seven people, MPs in the Carlton Club last week, and um, one of them should have tried to intervene to stop Chris from drinking so much, as if that wasn't insulting enough to the people who did try and intervene that night, and then also to the victims that drink was the problem. Isn't it the example, Mr Speaker, but is the Prime Minister constantly tries to deflect from the issue, always tries to blame other people for mistakes, and that at least nothing um, left for him to do other than to take responsibility and resign. Order. Order. Can, can I just say you ought to be embarrassed by clapping. This is not a debate. Mr Esterson, it's not debating society. This is... This is Prime Minister's questions. I want to get through the questions as other people want to catch my eye, and the way to do it is not by clapping. Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, there's a very simple reason why they want me out, and that is, and that is, and that is because... And that is because they know, Mr Speaker, uh, that, if they, uh, that otherwise uh, we are going to get on and deliver our mandate and win another general election. And that is the reality, Mr Speaker. Vera Wilson. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. The Prime Minister once wrote, It is a wonderful and necessary fact of political biology that we never know when our time is up. <laughs> Long after it is obvious to everyone that we are goners, we continue to believe our duty is to hang on to the perks and privileges of our posts. In reality, we are just terrified of the come down. Yep. So for the sake of this great country, will the Prime Minister heed the advice of his former self, of get over his terror and do the decent thing? Yeah. Yeah. Mr Speaker, I, no, I, with great respect, I, re, I, re, I refer the Honourable Lady to the answer I have just given. When, when things are tough, of course people uh, turn their fire on uh, the leader of the, the country, but uh, it is my job to get on and deliver uh, our manifesto, which we are, and to deliver on the mandate uh, on which I was elected, and to, and to get this country uh, through tough times just as we got it through COVID. And that is what I'm going to do. Fiona Bruce. Thank you, Mr. 